Hello everyone, I want to introduce you, um, continue on, our little, on the little theme of little lab techniques that you'll be using in the lab just so that you can see them before you actually do them in the lab. Uh, today we're going to do colony PCR, we're going to patch plate. So I have a plate here of some transformants that I generated and we have another plate here where we're going to patch them, we're basically going to transfer the, the cells onto here and then we're also going to put them and do PCR, colony PCR. So the first thing we probably need to do is we need to make a solution uh, to do the colony PCR. And we'll do that really quickly here. What I'll do is what I have here is I have a tube here that I'm going to use for the, so the main solution. And what I like to do is I like to go ahead and add the smaller volume items first and then the larger volume items later. So I have a tube here of the oligonucleotide that you that I cloned and then I have a version of the oligonucleotide uh, another oligonucleotide that's called M13R it's a standard sequence that's there for Sanger sequencing so I'll put that in the in the tube as well now I will go ahead and I need to put in 20, I put a microliter each of the oligos in, and I put in 22 microliters, so that means that I'm going to need to add 23 microliters of water. So what I'll do here is, my, and I don't have a pipette that'll do that immediately, so what I'll do is I'll set my P20 to 11.5, so if we do, I'll do that twice, it'll be 23 microliters. So I will go ahead and pipette check my water solution here. And I'll add that to the tube. And I add a second one to the tube. Next, we're adding a reagent called, it's, it's, a, it's a, just a standard uh, master mix called Apex Red, and it's two times the concentration it normally needs to be. So far what I've done is I've added 23 microliters of water, I've added a microliter of M13R, and then a microliter of the oligonucleotide that I cloned, because that'll make a nice PCR pair that if you've actually got your clone, you'll get a PCR product. If you don't have your clone, you won't see a PCR product. So running that on a gel, it's like a, if you see something, you, you, you got the clone, and if you don't see anything, you didn't get the clone. So the next thing I'll do is I will go ahead and add, send, add 25 microliters of Apex Red, and in this case, I'll change the pipette to 12.5 and do it twice. What I did is I just put the, the solution on the edge of the tube and didn't touch the solutions in there so I didn't contaminate the Apex Red stock solution. And now I have a tube of, of the reagent all ready to go. So this has everything that I need to be able to do PCR. It has all the, the, the uh, di dideoxynucleotides, it has ATP, it has everything it needs, it's, it's the right buffer, it has the two template oligonucleotides that we added in, so it's ready to do PCR. And now what I'll do is each of the PCR reactions will do that in 10 microliters, so I'll set the pipette at 10 microliters. And I have a set of PCR tubes right here, which I've labeled. and I will add 10 microliters to each one of them. Each two. So now I have four samples. We ask you to isolate four, to isolate, we did basically take four colonies, so I have the four solutions have them labeled 
one, two, three, and four, and I have it labeled with the ID for the sample. And I'll put, now that I have that PCR solution set up, I will put that on my little rack right over here, right in front of you. Okay, the next thing I need to do is I'm, I'm going to pick four colonies. So I'm going to take this plate that I'm going to patch and I'll just divide it into four and label one, two, three, and four. No matter how many colonies, how many colonies you pick, if you pick 32 of them, you just go ahead and put 32 numbers down. But since it's only needing four, I want everybody to keep those together and I will go ahead and put the information that I need. So I have the plate here, one, two, three, and four, and I have it labeled as to what it's going to be. So I'll put this plate on the table right here, and I have one, two, three, and four. Now what I'll do is I will go ahead and get some sterile toothpicks. Uh, in the past we've used pipette tips, we've used, uh, we've also used um, larger toothpicks, these large sewer sure sticks. Some people like to use those. Uh, in a case like this, for what I'm doing is I just want to use a regular toothpick. So what I'll do is I will look in the plate here and I will touch the colony corresponding to, I'm going to make that number one, and I'll streak that on the plate here, and then I will put that in tube number one. Then I'm going to grab another toothpick. another colony and I'll streak that at number two and then I'll put that into tube number two. I'll go ahead and pick another one streak that on number three and I'll put that in tube number three. So I'm doing is I'm making sure as I'm doing this I'm making sure that I have number one, I've done number one, I put it in the tube number one. And number two, I have in tube number two. So if I see a positive result for two, I know that I can go back to this colony and, and grow it up. So now I will go ahead and pick colony number four and streak it on the plate. And I'll stick that in the tube right here. See, so now I have the four tubes. I've picked colony, so there's some of the colony on the plate so I have a copy of it to grow up, and then I have a, some residual cells left to use PCR to be able to determine whether or not they expressing the, if they clone the right plasma, they contain the plasma that I want. So I just go ahead and wiggle this toothpick around and throw it into the waste toothpicks. Same with the second one. Third one. And the fourth one. Now I will go ahead and cap them. And from here, I will go over to the, to the, uh, the thermocycler and put these tubes in the thermocycler. And this tube I will put in an incubator to grow up overnight. So that's the basic technique. I will show you how to put them in, an, in the uh, thermocycler momentarily. What we've done so far is we've gone ahead and we did colony, colony PCR and they're in the, in the four little PCR tubes. Next thing to do is I will want you to go ahead and come over to the, the uh, thermocycler and add your tubes to the plate. And that way we'll go ahead and run them. It'll go through 30 cycles of PCR of, of, of making DNA. And then we'll go ahead and take it and we'll run a gel on it. So just go ahead and come over here and place it in the block and it'll be time to go do uh, another little experiment today. We'll see you 